Here we're going to create a simple four-page website with an image on each page. The code editor I'm using is brackets and I've already set up my home page folder and uh, I've got my four images there ready to go. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new file. File menu and new and I start writing some HTML. I'll also actually save this file straight away as well so I get my color linting and so on because I've got my home folder set up. It's going to save directly into that home folder. So save that in there and uh, start creating some HTML. I've got my HTML body element and then I want to put in some text. The first text I'm going to do is a heading and this is going to be a guitar page. I know this is going to be a four page website so I'm going to start putting in some links. This page is called guitar uh, with a file name of guitar.html so the link is going to point to guitar.html the anchor text that the user is going to see just shows guitar. I need four links like that. I'm going to copy that link and paste it three times and just fill in the different items or instruments. So I've filled in the different instruments in the places, for instance, the actual file name and actually the anchor text as well. I know what I'm going to call these different files and I know the labels I'm going to put in on the anchor text that the user sees. Even though those files don't exist yet, I can still organize myself to put in the links so that they point to those files. When the files come into existence, those links will work. For some styling, I will put in a horizontal rule and then I'll put in some text. If I paste in some content, the paragraphs are there in the code but when I go to look at this page in a browser I won't be able to see those paragraphs unless I put in paragraph tags around the content so I'm going to do that now and I save the file after I've done that now we can see each paragraph now sits inside a paragraph element that is I've got a paragraph start tag at the beginning of the paragraph and a paragraph end tag with the content in the middle. And that's my first page, guitar.html. Let's take a look at how it looks in the browser. I'll go to my finder and I can see guitar.html there and I'm going to open it up. So there's my page. As I said, the first link points to the same page. The other links are pointing to different pages that don't exist yet. If I click on those links, I'll get a file not found error. The last thing I want to add, add into this page is an image. In the finder, you'll see that I've already got an image for a guitar named guitar.jpg. And I will just go back and underneath my horizontal rule, I'll put in an image tag with a source attribute, set it equal to guitar.jpg. I can either type it in or use the autofill from brackets. Let's go back to the browser and refresh and I can see that that image is coming in. I'm happy with the layout of that page for the moment. It's just a simple website and now I want to create the other pages, drums, bass, singer in exactly the same format. I've got the images all lined up and I've got the content ready to go in. Rather than creating a new file and recoding everything from scratch, because the format is going to be the same, I'm just going to use this guitar.html as a template and resave it across all of the other files. So for example, I'm going to take this file, I'm going to go file and save as, and save it as a new file called drums.html. This gives me an exact copy of the same file that was in guitar.html. Guitar.html still exists with that same content. And now in drums.html, I can just change the content that makes drums.html unique. So that's the heading. I leave the links exactly the way that they are because they need to be consistent across all pages. The image is called drums.jpg and then change the content. So I'll just delete the paragraphs with the content to do with guitar. I'll paste in the content for drums and I'll go through the same process as I did before, wrapping each paragraph in a paragraph start tag at the beginning and a paragraph end tag at the end. And that's my drums.html page finished. 
let's take a look at that in the browser at this stage because my drums page works when i go to my browser i should be able to just click on the drums link whereas the file didn't exist before now it does exist when i click on the drums link it shows it show up and again i just used the guitar page as a template and then changed all of the different items that were specific to drums on this page so now i've got two of my different pages working bass and singer still shows a file not found error so now i go back and again use the same page as a template for the next page i could use the guitar.html page or the drums.html page as the template it doesn't really matter i'll go file save as and uh, call this base.html go through all the same routine as i did before changing just the things that make this page specific so that is the heading between the h1 tags and also the image and then also the text and that is the base.html page let's check that in the browser and we see base now works so i've got three different things working and lastly the singer resave this file as singer.html and each time I'm resaving any of these files, remember, it leaves the original copy of the original file that I'm saving as from. It leaves that there intact. Singer.html, saving that. And then just change the items on that page that are specific or unique to the Singer page. So that is the heading and the image and then the text. Save that. And that looks like my singer.html page is complete. I'll go back to the browser, refresh, and go to Singer. And I can see now that all four pages exist. You can find a link to download this particular lab and these pages in the content or description below.